with a neighborhood naturalist. Let's learn together. With a neighborhood naturalist, let's wonder together about what's going on around our homes. Hi, and welcome to Neighborhood Naturalist. This week's theme is butterflies and moths. They belong to an order of insects called Lepidoptera. This comes from the ancient Greek with lepi meaning scale and pteron meaning wings. So they're the scaly winged insects. If you look at their wings underneath a microscope, you can actually see these small individual scales. These insects are pollinator species that transfer pollen on their bodies as they move from flower to flower, unrolling their long proboscis or straw-like mouth to sip at nectar. Let's learn more about these cool critters. Butterflies and moths have a fascinating life cycle with four very different looking stages. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The entire process is what's known as metamorphosis. Female butterflies and moths will lay their eggs on a plant that will serve as a food source for the larva or caterpillar. Some species will lay eggs that last over winter and emerge the following spring, like the European skipper or Acadian hair streak. And others will only last a few days, for example the monarch butterfly for only four. Next up comes the larval stage, also known as caterpillars. The primary role of a caterpillar is to eat, grow, eat, grow, and eat and grow. As it grows, it will split its skin and shed about four to five times. The pupal stage is next and looks to be quite boring, but really this is where the most fascinating part of the transformation occurs. With butterflies, we call this a chrysalis, and with moss, we call it a cocoon. What emerges next is the final stage, the adult butterfly or moth. A moth and butterfly sure can look alike. They both belong to the same insect family, but there are a few differences to look for so that you can tell them apart. Butterflies usually rest with their wings closed, while moths tend to rest with their wings open. Butterflies have long, thin antenna, while moths have shorter, feathery antenna. And most moths make a silky cocoon, while butterflies usually make a shiny chrysalis. One of the main differences between butterflies and moths is that moths are nocturnal and that means they come out at nighttime. So if you want to find moths, you're going to have to look after the sun goes down. Moths are attracted to light, so what you can do is set up your very own moth light so that you can increase your odds of finding some cool moths. All I've done here is I've hung a white sheet from my clothesline and I'm using some uh, solar powered lawn lights to project some light up onto the sheet. The idea is, if you leave this for a few hours in the evening, the moths will be attracted, come land on the sheet, and you can come back later and get a closer look at them. One of the great things about using a moth sheet like this one is it makes it very easy to identify the different moths you may find using things like the Seek app. You can also use traditional field guides to help you figure out what species of moths land on your sheet. Can you find the moth over in your neighborhood? Use the app to help you.